Uh. Ew. At Ordeville, I have some class. And, um, You're asking too much of me. <laughs> okay, come on, uh, Miss Palm Warm. Mm-hmm. She's giving Palm Warm. I'm giving Yoromi too. I'm giving um, summertime street of Bangkok, listening to the rush. Even though it's song. probably fall by the time you're, <laughs> this is uploaded. This is uploaded, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but even now, it's still pretty sai sai, hey? It's pretty chilly. Yeah, I love it. No, I wouldn't say chilly, it's just like cooler. Last night I was walking my dog and mm-hmm. I felt like, I definitely felt the, the vibe of um, I, I fall. Could wear, yeah, I could, I could wear a little hoodie. Yeah. Miss Ariana. With your, were you girl in middle school or high school, did you have your long sleeve over your thumb? I still do that. I, I think that's <laughs> such a vibe. I, I don't like the perfectly fitted um, hoodie. I think hoodie is supposed to be very um, oversized and very cozy. There's something about the hoodies that have the hole that's pre-made. Oh, in there I, for your thumb. I think I used to have them. I don't have them anymore. Uh, Do you have them? I don't. Mm-hmm. Do you, oh wait. So in our last episode, you made the promise of that like, there was a story you're gonna tell. Oh, you should say it now before we forget. Because today we're gonna be doing. You asked a, a, yeah. yeah. You asked uh, like oh ask us stuff on your Instagram. But before Instagram. that, give us your story. And also, I'd like to apologize for my hair because I'm trying to grow it out. I'm trying to. I'm going back to my emo era, so I'm trying to grow the hair out. So. I was trying to do the rise sohi thing, but what? What, what are you gonna say? What? No, because well, I, I was asking you to 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 um leave your hair alone and then, on the back. Uh, yeah, to have a mohawk. No, no, it's called that's called uh. It's not called mohawk hair. Mohawk is the the sides are shaped and the middle is like this. Oh, sorry. No, that's what, like what a is rocker it? punk hair. What is this? That's hair? it's called a mullet. Mullet. Oh, okay. I hate that haircut. No, I thought it was gonna look it's cute. It's nasty. I, I think guys with that hair looks hot. hot the hot, the hot, guys hot. themselves are hot, but with the hair itself is trash. I hate mullets so much. They're so ugly to me. As if my hair right now is. You know. No, I think your hair is cute. Really, Maybe. I think uh, blonde hair suits you. Because I haven't, I haven't I, the, seen the, we're you. Not talk, we're not talking about the blonde. I'm talking about the cut. I know, I know. Like your hair now suits you, but. I've never seen you with a mullet, so yeah. No, I, well, why I don't not think... challenge yourself? It's I don't I don't want to do it. Okay, it's so bad because I think a guy with a mullet hair just gives me this bad boy Yang Ati sort of. You know, really? Yeah, like a, a See, fuck, fuck boy. You are, you are a conservative Christian girl. You have this image of conservative Christian girl, but on the inside, you want to fuck a bad. You want to chew. You want to nap in namja. namja, yeah. No, yoja. Because me and my my friends were we went to um, Japan a month ago, and then we were walking on the street of um, Tokyo, and then we've seen those listening to Rush very... by Choice of One. No. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Goodbye, so, Pala. <laughs> so we're because we're, we're, we're looking at the, the people on the street, or people are watching, right? And then we've seen like boys that has clearly like. Bad boy wives, mm-hmm. like they will be, they will be like putting their hands into their clothes and doing this, and then this is in Japan, yeah, in Japan, and then in they're that- not wearing their shoes properly. They're like doing this, you know, those like kind of yangachi wives, and you fucking and I, immediate boner, I, not boner, like I, uh, you were you, were, I'm just. I don't know. I just I, I kind of like that kind of why. I know you I was, do. I was telling my friend, oh, that's very do. attractive. I know you do. Yeah, but I, I cannot be same though in a relationship with them. But just I, I kind of like that kind of. You just wife. want a one night escapade, a uh, one night sexcapade. No, it's just I appreciate that kind of uh, you know vibe. Mm. Yeah. If you don't like that hair, you don't want that hair. It's your choice. Yeah, that's good. Emma hair too good. It's a little mm. bit like what's Emma hair English? It's, Ambiguous. It is ambiguous, but you don't use that kind of. Yeah, it sounds too like. It's yeah, not right. emehe means neither here nor there. Yeah, either here, either either neither, here or neither. Neither here nor there. Because you That's struggling kind of the, the struggle in your your face. Yeah, because I, I just had a, a scoop of ice cream and yeah. Get Do you get brain freeze? I do. Does your teeth hurt when you chew ice cream? Mm, only my back teeth. Same. Right. Mm. It's a sign of aging, guys. Is it? Yes. Okay. Make sure to brush your teeth every single morning yeah. and night and use Colgate. Make sure you floss. Oh, God, flo- I for, you need to remember to floss often because that shit, your gums get fucked up. Mm-hmm. And it's like, actually, they explain it's almost like exercising. Because if you don't regularly exercise, of course, you're going to get sore. But with your teeth, it's the same. If you don't regularly floss, it bleeds oh, a lot. Yeah. yeah. So I really have to. I, mm. I bought this water floss thing and I nearly <gasps> okay, used it. Okay, I bought it. It's painful. It yeah, it's it, painful. I think. You can. It's good to use that, but I would start out with the physical floss first to get to get over the bleeding phase because that shit. I always use it on the low setting because medium setting buto, 
that shit will fuck your gums up because it like yes it, it's like yeah it feels like a gut it feels like a needle so it's mm, it's helpful especially but, if you have sensitive gum. yeah but anyway your story about your mom what happened no because we were just talking about how victoria was watching um people people getting exercise exercise yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I just, I just, I, the way we talk about like an everyday occurrence so yeah your sister was talking about exorcism I, yeah because um you said my, me, your sister and me we won't get along in general you would get along, but I was making fun of the fact that um, mm-hmm. you'd be pretending you're like you're a Christian because one, but you're such really such an evil presence. Yeah, but yeah, but like if you walked to the room, she'd be like, <laughs> "There's something in the room." Because yeah, because you said that, because it really reminds me of my mom. Mm-hmm. Um, m- m- me, my parents, and my brother, four of us, we went on a biz- uh, we went went on a family trip for the very first time. Yeah, I think seven years ago, mm-hmm. uh, we went to. Phuket, Phuket. Really, Phuket, Thailand. Phuket, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. Phuket, right? I think. I say Phuket. Yeah, right. Phuket in Phuket. Yeah, in Korean. In Korean, yeah, Phuket. Because the spelling, if you read the English, is Phuket, mm-hmm. and uh, I don't think people call it Phuket. Bangkok. Yeah, I know, right? The the name, the city name of um, Thailand is Bangkok, and a Phuket. I mean, that's just uh, only, I love Thailand. Only low class uneducated people would laugh at that joke i feel like it's so overplayed um i graduated from uh, i'm not saying you i'm just saying in general there are people that still like when i hear bangkok and fuck it or whatever even though that's probably not how you say it like mm-hmm. i'm like okay whatever but there are people that are like bangkok <laughs> like, and we 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 don't laugh at things like that but we do laugh at we really laugh stu- at stupid things stu- but i mean like something like that is so, so uh, yeah, dumb it's so dumb yes yeah, anyway uh, anyway so me and my, my parents were in phuket and um uh-huh. it was during the <laughs> lunar new year period mm-hmm. so the, the all, period the, you know, period sis period, period. just kidding i'm kidding you ever heard that? I think this no. I think the story will never finish. <laughs> yeah, true. No. Oh. There's a lot of tourists, and then the, the, all everything was booked out. Mm-hmm. And then because it's our first family trip all together mm-hmm. um, in in with like 28 years. Really. And my parents are very busy, mm-hmm. so I really wanted to make this a really good experience. So I searched everything and I found a really good resort, mm-hmm. and we booked it. I went to the resort. And the the moment my mom stepped into that resort, my mom was like, <laughs> "Just like your sister, really?" Yeah, she's like, "Son, I felt this evil presence." Really? Yes. Is she like? Wait, she, what she, religion she, is she? She, she, she does not have any religion. Really? But she, I think she. But she's had a bad. She feel- believes in shamanism because she, she, be, she believes in fortune telling and everything. Mm, but she's had a bad feeling. Yeah, she, she had a. You said I, don't believe, I don't believe her. She, it's a resort. Resort. It's a very clean, nice resort. But what was it that she felt? I don't know. Like the moment, like she was stepping into it, she's like. <gasps> I felt this evil presence. I don't feel comfortable. We really need to leave. Just like the beginning of the movie. And it turns out it was constipation. <laughs> Just kidding. Might be. And it was, um, no, it turns out it was the diarrhea coming out of your ass. No, I'm being like the person, you know, the annoying person who does not want to leave in the movie. I'm like, mom, this is the result. And I searched for a very long time. And I, this is a Lunar New Year. We cannot go anywhere else. And that's where the movie starts. Y'all and end up dying if, because if, of... If we're like moving to uh, somewhere else, we're really going to the really haunted ones because those are the ones that no, no one is booking. And then my mom was like, we really have to move. And my mom was making a really big deal about mm-hmm. it. And then I called... She was being that big of a deal about it? Yeah. She's really? like, we really have Has to she move. ever been like this? Uh, she, sometimes. Like she self claimed, just like you self claim, you have ADHD. My mom self claimed that she can feel. The I presence. never said I had ADHD. Oh, okay. Uh. Um, my mom said uh, sometimes she self claimed that she felt she can feel the energy, but mm-hmm. she can never she never said that she see things. She just said she felt the, the felt energy. Something. She didn't see the, like tangible things. energy. Mm-hmm. And then I I got really annoyed and I called her <laughs> uh, uh, like I uh, misuse because you can call that like a room service. Yeah. And then she got a massage and she fell asleep and that was it. And she never mentioned about it again. So it turns out it was just a kink in her back. Yes. She massaged it out. She was good. Yeah. Well, we sat there for three days and then. <laughs> nothing ever happened after that. Nothing ever happened no, no talk of like the energy in this room. Oh, so? She never talked about that energy she again. She just had a sore back. Yes. She just wanted to swipe my credit card again. Ooh. She's like, was ah. it, is that kind of stuff expensive there? It's very expensive. Could it? Yes. And the mom, I think that's a really smart move to. Yeah, it turns out she did on purpose. Spend your son's money. <laughs> but but uh, I, I don't doubt that. She felt something. Yeah. 
because uh, she, her face and everything, um, she turned it, like. You know, then when you went there, but I felt nothing. I felt nothing. Mm. So I, I'm just feel um, like. What do you think it could have been? Maybe it's me. <laughs> Honestly, I'm the evil presence. Honestly, mm-hmm. she felt that chlamydia bubbling up, <laughs> bubbling down there. Well, mom, I'm sorry, but remember, you're the person who gave birth to the devil. Devil incarnate. Yeah. So you asked the questions on Instagram. Yeah. Did you? Were there any anything interesting? Uh, let's see. Girl, there's some stuff you should have looked at earlier. Oh yeah. Girl, every time we stop filming, he's just be texting boys. No. Nope. Oh, I'm, I'm kidding, working. I'm <laughs> but yeah, the first question is, how do you like working in Seoul? Wait, wait, wait. See, now we can see who is texting to texting the boys now, not me. Mm-hmm. How do you like working in Seoul? All my friends are overworked and tired. You know what? I've met many people that are like, specifically like I'm thinking Korean Americans. Like if I'm in America, I meet a Korean American. They're like, how's Seoul? I'm like, I love Seoul. But then the Koreans always thought they hate it. But I came to Seoul living in the U.S. Army base. And when I left, I was working on YouTube. I didn't work. I never went to school here. I never went to office. So their experience is different from mine. So for me, for I, I feel like they hate it because of the Korean culture of like work life, maybe or like school life. For me, enjoy it, but um, I can I can see why this person would be stressed out. Like Mm -hmm. this person's what their friends, Mm -hmm. yeah. No, then. Uh, I think Girl, you're always stressed out I Girl, think, you were always stressed out Before you quit your job You're always stressed out I, I, I think I'm the most proper person to ask Because I mm. worked in Korean companies And I worked in Chinese companies mm. uh, uh, So I, I can give you I can oh, even wow. give you a comparison Oh wow um, I think Korean people They're really hard workers Because um, Not because of the, it's their nature It's because their company asks them to really sacrifice themselves into what they're doing. Go above and beyond. Yes, go above. Otherwise, they won't get hired. Recently, you know, after I quit my previous job, I got an interview with Gentle Monster. Really? Yes. Um, So I was going to work in their uh, international sales department. And then they were asked, you know, one of my interview questions was, our work requires a lot of um, overwork time and uh, a lot of effort. Do you think you can really do it? Now, what kind of question is that? Yeah, that's, like, a, that's a red flag. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, was, it, was this a position for the office side or like working at the store? Oh, uh, it's the uh, office side mm. because uh, it's um, uh, we have to analyze all the sales uh, mm. s- statistics. So like data uh, stuff. Globally data. Mm. And we have a lot of uh, business trip to all the um, locations in the world, like Gentle Monster stores, to actually do employee trainings there mm. and to like uh, train them and teach them like the new products and everything mm. the Meijang teach them the how store, to use sunglasses no, no the store settings but the uh, to how do they explain to the customers because uh, we are the, we are the like the base and isn't the, that something you can do via the internet like no you have to go there why? and then you have to make sure the the store setting is exactly mm. what we want things like that I see mm-hmm. and I said to them of course I can do that if you will if the company is pay, paying me yeah, uh, yeah overwork money because because um, I used to work in Canada mm-hmm. they count by the the, the, the hour like mm-hmm. half an hour then they pay you this much and one per, per hour they pay you this much on overtime or in yeah. general uh overtime mm. yeah so it's you have to they have to pay extra mm, in korea by, by law it's like that too but uh, most yes by law you have to do that they but, have to but but they know, don't they don't do that 99 percent 90 percent 90 percent of the girl, all the ones i talk to they're like i don't get paid overtime mm-hmm. and i i they're giving me the vibe of, uh, is they do pay for overtime, mm-hmm. but they sort of um, calculate the time and maybe less than what you really worked. And then, and the the minute, the moment I said, but you have to pay me properly, and I can see the subtle change of the mm-hmm. the team leader's mm-hmm. face. They're like, well, next. <laughs> I really a, no, but that's the that's exactly what you should be asking. Mm-hmm. That's not fair mm-hmm. to you or anybody. So I just feel like I really don't want to work for a com- Korean company anymore because I feel like I'm marrying to this job title. Mm-hmm. I, it really requires a lot of effort and a con- like a contribution. Mm-hmm. Um, for, for what I feel like is so little. Yes, I feel you're like you're not never, getting a lot of money. Yeah, for the amount of work you. This is a problem not just Korea, but a lot of places. But Korea's pretty bad. Yes, and then because I worked in, previously in a Chinese company, mm-hmm. and then my coworkers, um, for at first I didn't understand their attitude, and they're like, "I'm just getting paid this much. Why am I putting this much effort?" Because for me, I'm so Korean, and 
if I'm doing something, I want to do this perfectly, and I want to because I want to feel proud of, about myself when I'm doing uh, finishing this yeah. task. That's the work ethic I have. And mm-hmm. uh, if I'm assigned to this um, this work, I will n- I, I cannot accept the mentality of like just doing this tetung tetung like doing this is whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. But then, but then, after working in the Chinese company, I feel like actually I think they are they are actually thinking the right thing because. I feel I feel like often sometimes we're just so used by the company they are asking us to do so much that they're we are getting paid off. After we are finishing the task perfectly, they're the one who who are benefiting it so much from our work. Yeah, and that we're not getting paid properly. Mm-hmm. So why would I in the first place contributing myself mm-hmm. so much mm-hmm. to this work? And I just I felt like so um, that's why I was quitting my previous job because I feel like. Uh, less appreciated, mm. but I think a lot, lots of lot of people that are quitting their job, of course, feel feeling the same reason. So um, I heard this other whole thing about quiet quitting, where it's like they don't try anymore. They can they just do the bare minimum, what their their job description is, mm-hmm. and that's it. They don't try to because mm-hmm. obviously, if you're a lot of people will try to get a promotion, right? So they're gonna try to do the work to get a promotion, like mm-hmm. work extra hard, you know, do extra projects, take on extra tasks. But then, like you're saying, if people, the higher ups are not gonna appreciate that, mm-hmm. they're gonna be like, no, all right, I, good, yeah. yeah. And at first, I didn't understand quiet quitting. I thought that's people being lazy. But later on, I really felt like quiet quitting is actually um, people going. Like, Quietly sh- going on a strike mm. on how they're dis- mistreated on uh, in the company, which they should be or lack of thereof. Yeah, I I um. So to answer your question, I think um in general, unless you're working in a, a tech job like a huge, huge corporations company. like yeah. Naver, Samsung, Samsung, even big corporations I have known of, they're not mm-hmm. treated that well. Oh, of course. Yeah, it, de- it really depends on which company. It's, even startups, you can be treated well. It really depends on which company, which team, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. who's your team leader. Mm-hmm. It's very specific like that. Mm-hmm. So you might get a really good experience out of, but in general, I think it's very tiring. And um, if you're not lucky, then you need to work extra hours mm-hmm. and you won't get be, you won't be like appreciated yeah. of what you do so um choose your company wisely yeah i've never worked in korea but i have worked with korean staff and stuff and I, they annoy me so much Spe- yeah. specifically the what do you mean because yeah, I, I always heard like complain about yeah i think the specific oh shit specifically the ones i have worked with because of the nature of my job being a youtuber uh i worked with the, a lot of the these companies are trying to take advantage of us you know this new generation of influencers on the internet because you can make lots of money that way mm-hmm. a lot of these teams don't know what they're doing because they're they're the ones coming up to us right we usually most of the time we build up our own platforms but a lot of these korean companies still don't know how to work around or work with these creators so they kind of just do whatever they think is right like the kind of you know the old traditional forms of media they'll try to do it that way but it just doesn't work out it's, it's just annoying to me like them asking me to do certain things where it's like sweetie this makes no sense I'm thinking specifically of when I was working at uh, doing those Amazon live shows. Oh, bitch! They're not doing it anymore, right? I don't think they do it anymore. Yeah, but um, I girl that that was a mess. They didn't know what they were doing. They tell me to do the dumbest shit. Anyway, next question. Because you're you're about to spill more tea and not really spill more tea, but I think it's kind of hard to explain because you have to be there in a way. It's different from the conversation of like what it's like working in a Korean company. For me, it was just more like working with a Korean company from a foreigner's uh, point of view. Mm. Next. Okay. <laughs> you're just tired of the topic. It makes yeah. me so angry. I can see that your anger is like yeah, because it's your such a triggering level. time for me. How old is Edward? <laughs> Well, I'm. We're, we're all born in 1992. Yeah, 31 so at this point. Wait, but has it been your birthday yet? So I'm. Yeah, 90, I'm 30. You're 30. You're 32. I'm 31. Yo. My birthday's February. Oh yeah, and mm-hmm. I give you a gift. Is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> so girl, we need to know the tea on y'all's worst and most embarrassing hookups. Haven't we done this on Bunny and Cherry? We just we talked about the interesting hookups. Not most embarrassing. Uh, I don't think I had a most embarrassing, and the worst. Do you have worst, worst, but define worst. Like it's experience you overall. You define yourself. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I had one. Okay, I can think of one. Why? Oh, for you? Yeah. Why? What happened? Uh, he's a very hot and handsome person. Mm. He has a really nice body figure. He actually is the 
the reason why I don't date, like I don't hook up with a like um super Hot. masculine person Ooh. anymore because like. <laughs> Okay, I'm not a girl or anything, but the way he talked to me is mm. very condescending. Uh, eh? Even before you fucked? No, we during the process, <laughs> like it wasn't a fetish sort of thing. No, he, he, the, the, I just felt like I'm so disrespected. Um, In what way? Well, I, I'll give you details. Mm. He was like, "Oh my god, re- you're really good at like." Um, I thought you were like, but the thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just don't felt, know what you're saying. You didn't even finish your sentence. Uh, you're really good at what? You're really good at sucking dick. Not, but not in a really bad way. Like he, he's saying it like um, degrading way. Yeah, in degrading way, demeaning. You're way. fucking. Of course, he's gonna talk like that. But but, but uh, no, I just felt like he's a he's a shallowness pig. Like that's how I felt. Like the the way he acts and he was it just it. during the sex. During the sex. probably just like during a concept, but uh, but I don't like the concept. I just felt like I wasn't respected. Just felt like the the way he and I, the the nature of mm-hmm. of his tone. Mm-hmm. I just feel like he uh, kind of looked down on bottoms. In, I can I can tell. You know, in you general know. or like just in that moment. At that moment. Well, like you know, I, 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 I just found it's such a turn off. I, I was trying to turn off for you. Yeah, mm. it's a turn off. I because I want to feel you like, want me more like he's like caring for you, not yeah, so much. Uh, I just feel treating you like yeah. tr- dirt. Yeah, I don't want to be treated like I'm a well, hole. Uh, yeah, just a hole. You know, not like a whore, but like a hole. Mm. I'm not just like. Yeah. I'm a person with emotion. Mm-hmm. I'm not. So you think that for him, when it comes to having sex, he gets turned on by this behavior? Oh, I now I can. I think mm-hmm. I can explain this clearly mm-hmm. because I think the way that he said it and mm-hmm. they put it mm-hmm. is so vulgar and um, like he was cursing. Like yeah, he was like cursing, and uh, it's such a turn off for you. It was a turn off. Yeah. Did a couple was it sort of almost like a fetishy sort of thing for him? Probably, but Where I don't he... do think it's just so because I, I hate people. I've seen people like that. Who swear during sex. I've met lots of people like that. For me personally, it's a turn on, but I guess for you, it's not. Um, and just the, you know, the, just saying the one word like fuck is okay, mm-hmm. but saying a long sentence. Instead is, of like calling you like a dirty oh, fucking yeah, it's, like. It's such a turn off. Don't you guys think? You know, during sex, like, oh, you slut. No, there are people boy. that like that. But such, it's, for me, it's such a turn off. For me, it's a turn off. Yeah. Mm, I, yeah, see, I, I see. remember why. I'm mm. so, Cause I, I, I was doing the deed and he was just saying that. I was like, oh my fuck, I really, I cannot do this. And do you think to him, from his perspective, do you think he thought, oh yeah, I'm turning him on by talking like oh, this? Oh yeah, I think that's uh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he, he knew, and uh, yeah, I think now I can, I, I, I think I got my thoughts together. And then the vibe he was giving is like, he knew he was so hot. Mm-hmm. His, his face and his body, he's like, mm-hmm. he's giving this kind of vibe. Yeah. And then, and the way he was swearing and then um, like, mm-hmm. talking like I see, I see, vulgar I see. stuff. And the, the whole vibe is giving me this, an educated person. Mm, no, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, you know, I know what now. you mean now. Yeah. I get it, yeah. So I was like, oh. Because, uh, you know, I, I really, I'm really bad at, at lying. Mm-hmm. Especially during <laughs> during bad, if I'm not into that person, I really cannot lie. So then what happened after so all the cursing? So like, like, I, I, I died. Like, I died so, during the... Then how did um, you finish? During the sex. I didn't finish. And then I was he, being, Did he, though? He didn't finish either. Because he felt that I wasn't... I was, uh, I was being, yeah. Kapungsa? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, and I, cause the, the, I, fr- I what froze. does that mean in I English? Uh, the, the vibes just got killed. Uh-huh. He killed the vibes. Yeah. He oh, killed, no. really killed the vibes. So and what, I, you just like stopped it and you were just like... Because I was like, uh, 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 that's how I, literally I did. Oh, no. And then he felt it and then I was like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't. Yeah, we should just well, not I mean, continue. So this was a very long time ago. And then after that, I realized I really don't like uneducated, like, like kind of the vibes of like they're yeah. they're just like and not, not, not meatheads. Be, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't matter like their educational level. Mm-hmm. It's just I don't like people who talk their behavior. Their behavior. I yeah, see. I see. Yeah, yeah. That's why I feel like they're like really mm-hmm. shamanist about. Okay. Yeah, that, like the behavior. Like, like, like yeah. No, I can see how they like can turn off. Macho, off, macho. Yeah. Like he's giving really macho, macho wife. Yeah. The ones that will like fuck you and just throw you away like trash. Uh, yeah. No, I get. Yeah, I get yeah, that. Yeah, that's the vibe he was giving. That's why. I've, I, it's the um the worst sex I could really really yeah I remember damn mm-hmm. I really regret kissing him it was really? disgusting for me they can be the hottest person but if something about the personality or the way they no. act turns me off I'm like immediately yeah, like they're yeah. ugly to me yes what celebrity would you date if you could and why celebrity that I would date ah <gasps> <laughs> the way you look at you you're like there, there are so many there so, are so uh, many so many Anira <laughs> One on, mm, I guess, but also part of me wants to say no. Why? Because he's not 
like this is gonna sound really shady, but he's not really a very. I think I would love to be friends with him, but dating, I I just feel like from my past experience, mm-hmm. if I had dated him, I feel like I would get bored very quickly because he's not he's not boring, but he's just not a a very talkative, 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 talkative person. Talkative right? person. And they don't have to be like all the time, but um, he's very like chill and which is not bad. But I feel like for me, I'll probably might get a little bored eventually. And yeah, we all know. Yeah, he's hot, haha, ha, whatever. But for me, eventually, it's just that's just one part of him. Oh right? yeah, I, I know what you're saying. Mm-hmm. But um, you like those hot guys on Singles Inferno? Like they might look <laughs> nice, but they have no personalities. Girl, any Korean boy on a Netflix <laughs> reality show, wall. Well, yeah. They're about. They have the same personality as this painting. Actually, no. This has more the personality. Empty shell. Empty shell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's Song Kang? Oh, Song Kang. Honey, honey, honey. So you think Song Kang has a personality then? I I don't even care. Whore. I don't even care. He's so handsome. H O E. But also, Edward. I feel like I would be so pudamsuro at some point because all the girls would want to fuck him. But I'm like, this is my man. You will grab a knife and you kill all the girls that's like. Okay, I'm not you. To. <laughs> yes, so. I'll literally slice them ha! if you're trying to stop me. I'm suddenly thinking of this because I'm such a fangirl. Mm-hmm. But if you're Filipino, you know Sam Milby. Oh I don't my know god, who he is. I will. He. This is like a celebrity from back in like way back in the day. But uh, he's like half Filipino, half American. Uh huh. Um, he was like the hot it actor at the time. Half American meaning half like. What? I think half white, half Filipino. I like this vibe. Oh, kind of looks like he would be on Glee. <laughs> he looks like like dad. He gave me daddy vibes. Yeah, like uncle daddy. But he's much older now. But I'm thinking of the past Sam. Like he was like a baby back then. Oh, he's very cute. He's yeah. very cute. What about you? Um, that's a really good question. Girl, just say, I'm sure you have a long list. Uh, Who's the first one you think? Of? To be honest, I'm I'm very sapial sexual, and um, I really sapial sexual. Like I think I really look at personality, and I think. I think smart is very, being smart is very important. What does that have to do with being sapiosexual? I think sapiosexual means is that what it is? Yeah, being attracted to the personality, this the 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 this. intelligent level. Mm. I could be wrong. So you're saying because you don't really personally know these people, you can't really judge and know their image. So I'm just mm. thinking appearance wise, I'm like of, I'm you're like, like everyone. <laughs> yeah, like appearance but personality wise, wise, who personality wise. Um, don't don't think of it as like the number one. Just think about who's one of them that you're thinking of. Just list them off. Oh, do I see? Who? So you don't have one. Yeah, if you really think about it. Yeah, because especially if you're more attracted to the personality, it's hard to kind of. Oh yeah. Mm. I, if this is a very honest speaking. I um, I don't think I have one. Mm. Like a personality that, uh, like a celebrity that I'm dying to date. Mm. So every time you joke about a celebrity and be thinking they're hot, I, that's I just. I do think more. they're hot, but I just like oh, I want to date them or I, I don't. Hmm. No, I see that. Yeah, especially because for your sexuality or whatever, you have to be able to. You have to know them. Yes. Is it based? On, it's hard to talk about this sort of thing. Oh, oh, I what, have one bo, now. Bo. I I would date um, <laughs> Faker from the gamer. Are you fucking serious? He's so cute. He's my type. Person personality wise too. Yeah, because okay. I've I've seen the well, I've never seen him. He's a, he's a very nerdy eh? and they, like the way he talks. I almost know? got the I always had the idea that he's probably one of those cocky like really like oh yeah oh, I'm a fucking number one. He's really game. good at when he's in the like when he's playing games. He his face he immediately changed to like a professional mode. Mm. And he's really good at what That's he's what doing. That's what turned you on. Yes, like he's good at what he's well, doing. At his job, still. but then like yeah. off, can't, off, off the camera, job. Off the job, he's like, mm, like mm, very uh, shy, okay. and he's very nerdy. Yeah. And he he's having the classic Korean boy mm. haircut. Like, I mean, you do like nerdy boys. Yeah, I do yeah, like they're them. really cute. Yeah, he's, he's cute, he's and cute. they're reliable. Yeah, so that's the boy I would date. Yeah, that there goes here. And he's actually my Yi Sang Hyung. Really? Yeah, my okay. ideal type. Yeah. Mm. There's a saying in in Korea like "kyung go ore gandago," like, like it look the cuteness will last longer. Than like a handsome boy. Mm, I think cute boy. I see him. Yeah. yeah, I think I see. Right, it's like, it's like just like <laughs> you see this boy. He be like getting all crazy when uh-huh. he when he thinks he's a boy that he's oh. faker. Call me. That's sweet. Whenever we have a cute guest on our show, you the way you act. You don't know how to act. And in general, I don't remember specifically, but I just remember the uh, change in behavior. Oh the yeah. The second any cute boy walks in, you're suddenly just like. Uh, yeah, it's very obvious because uh-huh. if it's like my type, then uh-huh. I'm like, because um, you remember the on um, Boy B, there were a guest mm-hmm. who took off uh, his clothes off. Mm-hmm. He was pretty hot, but the, he's the, like he's the handsome type. He's never the the cute. He's type. already cute. Yeah, he was yeah, just he's hot. not the cute type. He's very handsome. So I I felt nothing. Mm-hmm. I just mm-hmm. like really cute. Type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like like really round face mm-hmm. or 
Small eyes, like those kind of. Anyway, <laughs> look at you, my you. <laughs> Next question. Oh, oh stop! So, uh, how long have you been family? Oh my god, it was thirty minutes already. I felt like it was longer. We only answered two questions. We well, only. That's, an- that's the nature of our show. We talk too that much. <laughs> we only answered two questions. It's been thirty minutes already. Oh my god, we should answer even more. What would be our dream wedding like? Girl, I don't got that shit. You don't have a dream wedding? No, I'd be for me, I'd be like, girl, let's save money. Let's just do the, not Las Vegas wedding, but just very simple, just like. Small wedding? Very small, nothing special at all. Even maybe something like a Korean style where it's like I rent out a hall for two hours, do the damn thing and just eat and good. And receive all the monies from your Yeah, friends. I guess so. But even if it's in America, like I don't want anything crazy. Mm. For me, I will wear the latest season of Vera Wang. I fucking knew you would say Vera Wang. <laughs> I fucking knew it. She still designs clothes? Uh, she doesn't, I think. But it, is it more like a, a, a per client basis? Mm, or if she's like friends with them? I think she has like like fellow designers and that does the work mm, for her. Because com- she confirms the design mm. and where she fix it. Oh, okay. That's what like bigger designers mm, do. So Vera Wang. So I will, the latest design of Vera Wang. Do you wear a dress? Oh, of course. And, um, Are you serious? What, I think you really... Ref- Restrained with your like, gender. No, that's not that. I know you. I yeah. know you're not gonna wear a fucking dress. I know um, you're not gonna be bunny during your wedding. As long as I'm wearing something um, expensive or old, old good court or uh, and um. So I feel like you'd be dressing like um, Lil Nas X, <laughs> where it's kind of giving both. <laughs> no, not that kind of vibe. Or I make sure my wedding rings um, from like custom jewelry, mm-hmm. um, very expensive. Would and, you have Kalada uh, come in with a little? Oh, no animals that. allowed in my wedding. I'm just so kidding. you can't invite yourself to your wedding. <laughs> just kidding. Because I'm the most wild. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a cougar. Because <laughs> based on the age I'm, I might get married. <laughs> um, what you be married to like a 20 year old? No, like like real rare ring. Because oh, she, really? she was dating 20 something. Yeah. But anyway, I was just kidding because I really because even for birthdays I hate big birth- birthdays. Mm-hmm. I would feel really awkward and exhausted. So, like you had my birthday here. Your birthday? Huh? Yeah, I had my birthday here. Remember? Oh yeah, you had, yeah, he yeah. had his birthday. So it was a huge, but it was like four people that you don't know. Mm-hmm. So, oh yeah, well, you know one of them because you met them before. Oh yeah, one of them is the, the guy mm-hmm. I'm interested in. But anyway, really? He's cute. Which one? Lugo. The flower boy. Uh, how to beep his name? Is he your type? Cute, <laughs> Tana. I th- he's cute? I don't think he's cute. Cute. I think he's more just like handsome. Like no, handsome. Like, no, 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 no. He's not like a th- really 3D sort of like type. He's like more like. No, I mean behavior wise. I don't care about behavior. I fu- yeah, you fucking do. Don't even lie. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh. No, my dream wedding will. That was just a joke. I, my dream wedding will be like very limit, like limited guests. And- so limited guests, but very expensive. Uh, Fanciful edit, uh, editing. Okay, fanciful I, I, would, I would say limited guests, but fancy, of course. Mm. Um, oh yeah, you I'm should like, want it to be pretty. Yeah, pretty, um, and uh, very personal because everything I will just like my house. I will select carefully, select everything, and I'll make sure the guests feel comfortable. Location wise, um, which one inside or outside wedding? Outside wedding because I used to um, help my friend to uh, hold her wedding. Mm-hmm. She had it in Toronto Center Island. Island. Toronto Center Island. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. and uh, it was this uh, small island inside mm-hmm. of like the, the, mm-hmm. the like a river thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was beautiful, and it was in, uh, she rented the school mm-hmm. because the school was empty during the weekend, I think, mm-hmm. and it was not expensive. It was like three thousand dollars. It was very beautiful. You can rent a school. You can rent a school. She rented yeah. like a, a school area, and then we had it there. Uh, we can even use a school kitchen, so mm-hmm. I prepared the food for her. Oh wow! There, and it was a small wedding. It was mm-hmm. very beautiful, and the weather was nice. So I really wanted a wedding like that. It's very okay. personal. Yeah. Um, not inviting a bunch of people you yeah, don't know, like authentic. friends of friends of friends. No, I, I'm not. Yeah, yeah I can't do I, that. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I think that's my dream wedding. Okay. And I just want that. The 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 problem is that where's my husband? Girl, ain't that a fucking mood? That's the only thing missing yeah. from our wedding plans. Yeah. Husband, a <laughs> girl. <laughs> Well, where is him? Where is when him? you walk away, you I've been waiting for you for my whole life. Say, where are you? Please, oh baby, <laughs> don't okay, go. The next question. Simple is. and clean is the. Mm. Would you know that song? I have no idea. Kingdom Hearts Bula? No. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. When did you first lose your V card and how was it? Ooh. 
How old were you? I, I I love how you guys will ask those questions. You know. But here's the thing, Eddie. You picked that question. You have all these options, and yet that's the one you picked. So whose fault is it? <laughs> really? You blaming our lovely viewer for that? Okay. So <laughs> when did you lose your V card? I was 16, I think. Okay. Wait. No. I checked the dates on my old Facebook photos from back at the time. I was 18. I was of legal age. To the the my first Korean boyfriend I mentioned in the last episode. 16. You were underaged. Since she's underage, because uh, the legal the legal age is nineteen. I'm not judging though. No, I think you did. In that second, you judged immediately. I didn't know my message was so clear and loud. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I I was very sweet. It was very nice. Oh my god! It wasn't like wild or like I, I clumsy or anything. It was just it was do cute. Do you use protection? That time, no. Okay. But surprisingly, um, I fucked him first. You were a top for like two seconds. Oh, then the that woo. does not count. The it's half a top then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not even like a quarter probably. Yeah. But um, Two he, seconds top. <laughs> yeah. And um, it's just because he's really, really tall. He's like over 180. So the why are topping? Because of you know, the pudami of like putting in for the first time. It's like, oh, uh-huh. right. So I wanted to, you know. Try it first. Uh-huh. He's like, yeah, this is gonna work. I was like, yeah, because <laughs> even I was like, himnura, himnura. But uh, yeah, did it to me, and it was, it was cute. Very sweet and nice yeah. experience. For me, it was much worse. Um, <laughs> I, I, uh, the back of a white van, just <laughs> a back alley next to you know mm-hmm. the dumpster the drain. I know you're you're trying to think of another word besides dumpster because I know you're gonna bring that shit up again. <laughs> no. Where the Ninja Turtle was going. <laughs> it's such a weird reference that you bring up. I'm surprised you know that. Of course I know the Ninja Turtles. I mean, I such a knows about the Ninja Turtles. I feel like that's such a minor come song that you're talking about. <laughs> the dark, you know, street of New York City uh, where I, you know, I was 20 uh-huh. years old. Uh, very late in my life. I have this Late in your life? I think 20 is late. 20 is not late. No? Sweetie, you're 20. You were you're 16. Yeah. Okay. You're a sweet 16. <laughs> when, when people break the pinata and you were having sex. <laughs> My quinceanera? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Pinata? Uh-huh. I thought people do that when they're something. No, that's just any birthday. Oh, okay. Whatever age. Okay. <laughs> so I didn't know about mm. American culture. That's Isn't that that's Hispanic culture? Spanish culture, but like, I've, <laughs> I've seen it in the American movie, mm, that's yeah, why. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, I was 20 and then he was Russian. Because I didn't know any better. Mm-hmm. Um, You're experimenting. My roommates were not home. I, it's I, Canada? It's Canada, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was um, back then, you used to work on St. Patrick Street. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, when I, he was in my apartment, mm-hmm. and my friends are not home, and I, we did it in the, on the bed. Um, were you expecting it to happen that day? I saw that, yeah. Mm. I saw it. Because we met for like four times already. Okay. And then he. You're like, this is the one? Yeah. I've, you weren't scared or anything? Maybe just me, mm-hmm. because I'm already 20 years old back then. I'm just so curious what it feels like. You, don't you? Don't you? Oh, of course. Yeah. You're wondering if it feels how you imagine. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Every, cause I first watched porn when I was 15. Yep. So for the five years of my life, I've, I kept wondering what it feels like to get, you know, penetrated. Mm-hmm. Um, now it's not a big deal, whatever. Um, you know what to expect. Yeah, but I was just so curious, and I was more excited. I, I say more excitement than than scared. Mm. Um, you weren't then, scared of like, you know, you you didn't clean out properly. Were you looking up douching oh tutorials? God, but, you know what? The, uh. the most most funny thing is uh, I don't know how to how to like clean. So I bought this um, douching mm, kit kit mm. from eBay and never arrives. They, Dude, could does they, that happen to you? It never arrives. I never tried those, but they, don't they sell it like CVS or like the drugstore? I, I, back then, my information is very limited. It's mm. not like that. We all have like YouTube and everything. <laughs> you can you have Google. But no one have that tutorials. Like, we right? don't have how to how to shave the ass in there. Yeah, no one is giving that tutorials how to douche or something. We don't something. have Filipino Americans showing you their balls and ass on the internet. <laughs> you always refer to that video. It's so legendary. Uh, also because so, they're Filipino, so I'm like, sister. You know, this is... You know how, what what I did mm. to to prepare. Well. I go to the dollar dollar store mm-hmm. in Canada. It's called Dollarama. Dollarama. I Dollarama. A, I bought a turkey baster. Mm. I, I mean that some baster. people I've heard some people do that. Really? Mm-hmm. I thought maybe this will work, but the 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 end part is so pointy and hard. Yeah, I <laughs> cannot insert it in. I tried. So I also just, because 
that's like almost like having a penis in surgery for the first time if you've never so the first time i had sex i it was with a turkey baster no it's not your okay. first experience because with I, a turkey baster. i tried with a turkey baster it does not work and then my kid from ebay never arrives so i was i was panicking i did not eat anything i just mm, i made sure so that, it was okay yeah when it did happen yeah just you know how shrimp um they in the factory when they you know how shrimp they have a back wing okay uh and they will have a it's actually their intestines mm -hmm. and then like before they get you know processed mm, the factory will actually starve them for, for a few days so their 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 wing will like get smaller and, really uh, yes, that's soul. what they do that's what they do oh wow so i starved myself for days so and make sure that my days my, a day okay I so I, to make sure that my inner system is clean so mm. my first experience was i had did not okay. have Fortunately, I did not have that problem. Okay. Even without like proper dishes. Your stomach was just growling a lot yes. from hunger. Yes, I was just like using water, like using mm -hmm. my finger and then make sure everything mm. was clean. And it was very painful. Oh, and of course. I, all I remembered was so much pain because I did not even use lube. He was using, he was using, cause I did not know better back then. He he should know better. Yeah, he should know better, but, but it- What did he use? He used his, um. Uh, he used his, uh, you can, saliva. but you need a lot, and it doesn't last that long. Mm -hmm. And obviously, it's not the same thing. So as lube. It was so painful. Oh so my god! So I'm so sorry that happened to you. Yeah, it was, that was that's, that's... But look at you now. You're a pro. <laughs> you're a pro. No. No, you're the faker of you're the faker of anal. No, I uh, committed myself into Christianity, and I shut more, the fuck up. And I'm just more. And You've never been closer to God. Yes, I'm more day by day. I'm more close to the holy power, and I'm stop having sex. And um, say say send my I'm tired of this man condolence to um to Victoria. And, um, I want to be her her sister. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> she'll probably be if I tell her, she'll probably be like, okay. I'll pray for him. <laughs> she says she prays for me. <laughs> like okay, thanks. Well, she really should. I, mean, <laughs> nothing, I guess she hasn't been praying that much because <laughs> nothing's changed. <laughs> Victoria, we are living proof that your prayers does not work. Pray harder. <laughs> When did you and Edward meet? 2014-ish, Anya? No, not 2014. I think 2015. Mm, yeah. 2014 is the year I came to Korea. Ah, yes. yeah, 15. And then we met through the... The Treasure Hunter, oh, which is our beauty. MCN. Oh, Treasure Hunter, we were doing uh, uh, Beauty Beast. Beauty Beast. <laughs> we, we, we did a program called Beauty Beast. Um, back then, uh, our manager is called Hannah Lee. Mm -hmm. um, she... Sort of. Look, our current PD for Bunny Cherry's name is Hannah. Hannah Hall. But, yeah. yeah, but the girl that made Beauty Beast, the the one that brought us together, is also named Hannah. Hannah Lee. Yeah. But she's Hannah Lee. Yeah, Hannah Lee um, asked me and Edward, also another two YouTubers, mm. and then four of us become a, a team and then do a, a program for Treasure Hunter, which is a, a MCM company. It That's was a it mess. Meant. Like it, the idea was good, but the logistics. I really blame the the production team. The te it's called Kiwi. I think they, they, they really don't Girl, know. What of course, doing. they don't use this anymore. Yeah. Earlier, when we were talking about bad experiences, like working, similar situation. Really, yeah. They wanna. Well, let's, they were kind of ahead of the time in a way because uh, they were trying to appeal. They were a Korean company trying to make content, K content for Western viewers. So I guess they were ahead of the game in a way. But because it was the first time that sort of thing. Oh, this fly. Because it's the first of its kind. You and I always talked about how all the staff are pure Koreans that don't speak any English. Remember the first few episodes were edited by a Korean guy? And the, the editing was pace was horrible because was they didn't horrible. they didn't catch our humor. They didn't know where to cut. The Naji Wabi Wabi Jana Wabi Wavy Wabi. Yeah, the another like the later on because the initial editing was so horrible. So we asked someone that we know that worked in Treasure Hunter in Trenaran to edit, and he did it so much better. And he doesn't even speak English that much, yeah. but he did so much better. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's not the English ability that was a problem. It's mm. it's just the sense no of, sense and no sense yeah. of editing. So I'm like, y'all have a production. Company? What the, what yeah, the fuck because the first video he edited it was just there's no like special effect it was just a pure just bgm and, and the, the video itself yeah and that and was it the bgm would stop at the most random places yes. it would zoom in on random shit that had it was so weird yeah but um and he get paid even more than you know the staff that worked for uh, wow Trader because he's like the outside team mm -hmm. that gets sourced so remember when uh we got our first sponsorship 
That oh, was so dumb. That was I was like, why? As a, from a cop, even back then, I remember thinking, I'm like, is this company fucking stupid? Like, why would they sponsor this show and they know nobody's gonna buy it? Well, it was like soap or something, like uh, skincare. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! I was speaking of which, I think it's so funny lately these days because um, they're you know TikTokers, influencers, and stuff. Um, they can't make money from TikTok. You can, but only a little bit, right? To make the decent money, you have to do sponsorships. I just think it's so funny when we have all these people dancing and like making weird, funny, funny content. Well, they're dancing too, like dancing to um, like. A tub of cream. <laughs> what? Like if they get skin, 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 if they get skincare sponsorship, what? How they? <gasps> That's their body. Yeah, the um, companies are giving money for sponsors are beauty companies, but all these people get popular from. Or well, I don't know. So they apply the cream and then. I guess so. But yeah, no, or they just do a regular skincare routine. But I think it's just so funny when you have this TikToker influencer making random fun whatever content, but then out of nowhere they're like, "Hey guys, let me show you my skincare routine," and I'm like, "Sis, <laughs> it's so funny." Like it, it's, I feel like it's a slap in the face to these us OG, not us, not even me, not even OG uh, beauty people, people that make beauty content in general. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I feel you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe let, let's move to the next question. That's how we meet. He said, Edward, shut up. <laughs> I just, because I feel like um, the more we talk about it, it, it brings more anger out of Edward. And, um, I love how it's okay for Eddie to keep talking, but for me, we got to stop. No, no, no. Can we take another question? Because uh, I think our time is pick, limited. Well, pick one that we can talk short. Short. Um, Guys, I forgot to be my other memory card, so we're running out of memory, so you only get one more question. Pick something decent, please. Then you pick. And we'll answer this quick because we don't have a memory card. Uh, Ew. We only have 10 minutes left and then you choose okay. to burp. This person was asking how to flirt with men. But I'm curious, if there's someone that you like, how do you flirt with them? Do you think you're good at flirting? I think I'm horrible at flirting. I don't think I've ever flirted with anybody. For me, the way I show someone when I there's someone that I like, I'm that typical elementary school bitch that teases them. <laughs> or not necessarily teases them, but like... Uh, what's an example? I'll try to, it, I guess, to, from my point of view, I'm trying to become comfortable with them. So, you know, I don't do the whole, like, you know, all that shit. I, like, you know, I try to be like, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. hey, man, all that. Like, trying to break the wall. Because a lot, especially with Koreans, there's always a pyok. So I'm always like, you know, if we get traded each other's Instagrams, I'll DM them, like, when the fuck are we hanging out? You know, that's how a little bit aggressive, mm-hmm. but kind of like, yeah, kind of egg kind of a little bit cute in a way to show them I'm interested but that I don't know if that's flirting because when I think of flirting I think of flirting like hey hi how are you I, I think, when I think about flirting I think of like joking around like just interacting with them interacting but yes. kind of having an undertone of like yeah like like that <laughs> 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 Have you done that? Uh, When's the last time you did that? Uh, it depends on which person, because I feel like someone, you, I cannot flirt with people who are dead inside. <laughs> yeah. Because if, if cause, cause, no response. Uh, yeah, like, because I would be matching people with Tinder, and I feel like this person is in general a boring person, and then no matter what you do, and mm-hmm. you cannot bring the interesting part of him. But that's I was about to mention that because if we're meeting people on apps, and it's different though, because I'm thinking when, what they're asking is like in person, in and they're not meeting, not meeting Tinder, and then meeting in person. I mean, oh, like, my dear, club castle. Ah, oh. like if you went to the club, if you met in person. Yeah, for the first time. Let's say you were in like a maybe Sujari, right? And your friend invited their friend and you know they're gay, mm-hmm. right? And Mamiduro, mm-hmm. they're cute or whatever. What would you do? I don't know. I would just look. Or I feel like you're the type that would wait for them to yeah. play with you. So I don't. Not I, sure. I would never make the first move because I feel like, what if I get rejected? Girl, that's such a mood. Yeah. That's I, a mood. Um, normally, I, if I sense a person is interested in me, mm-hmm. then I will just do the eye contact because mm-hmm. I, I think if I'm interested as well, eye and contact. then like, I'll just do the eye contact and then the person will send me back a signal and then I will maybe mm-hmm. like do a little bit of physical touch, mm-hmm. like uh, like hand a little bit and then- You start I, doing sisters touch my body on this. That's not that aggressive. And, it's, <laughs> and normally what happens is the guy will grab my hand and then it will all start from there. Okay. I think, yeah, because because sometimes, because I'm a bottom, right? Normally, you know, mm-hmm. it's in the, you expect the, top the social to norm is that the top will send mm. a message. But of course, bottom can send it first, but I just Me. never did it. 
Yeah. Mm. I know how to flirt through text, mm-hmm. but in real no, person, yeah, no, I get that. In real person, I never do mm. it first because what if? Because I feel like in nowadays, if you flirt with a person, that person is not interested, and you just do it first, it's creepy. Mm. What if it's, it, it comes as, as creepy? So I don't do that. What if you come off as creepy? Yeah. What if that person not gay or something? Mm. But couldn't you say the same thing about the other person to you? But I I will understand because I'm a person that I don't. I will understand that person's where that person comes from. But it could be the same thing on the person's side. They'll understand your. But I'm I because I, I have paranoia. I'm uh, a person. I have a really strong paranoia. ADHD I, and I paranoia. Think, yeah, I think a lot of things. Mm. But I'm. But my personality is is I try. I really appreciate that person's um, courage to mm. actually try to flirt, and then I I'll, yeah, I understood. But I cannot do it first. But just that, that, that's just me. I guess sometimes, generally, I feel like tops would have a little bit more courage too. Yeah, I think tops. Right? Yeah. While bottoms are a little bit more like you, or they're just like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but because I have, I have those people. Because mm-hmm. I, I remember one one time in Canada, uh, I was walking on the street. And there, oh, I have to like demonstrate to me what walking on the street looks like. You're like I was uh, walking on the street, and <laughs> I, 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 I think this person like walking towards me, and mm-hmm. this person was looking at his phone, and then I feel like he's clearly looking at me, and he was like doing this. <laughs> then, what the? Hell? And like, the, to a to a point, to a point, I found out he was looking at me, uh-huh. and then I was like, "What's going Can on?" And he's st- he's still looking at me and doing mm-hmm. this, and then and he didn't say anything, mm-hmm. and then and he just went. Oh. And that's his flirting. Uh, for for me, that's kind of creepy, to be honest. Yeah, that's creepy. Yeah, I remember I went to Chamshi one time because uh-huh. I was meeting a friend, uh-huh. and I arrived early, so I was just sitting. You know, the between the Jia Yilcheng of uh, Lotte World Mall, it's connected to the Chamshi station. Mm-hmm. I was waiting in that area there. There was a boy somewhere over there. So my type, super cute. He had like the he was a very idly kind of had like the skinny jeans, nice legs. He almost looked like he was he played sports maybe. I was like, oh my god, he's so hot. I was like, whatever. Five minutes, not even. No, no, it was like two minutes later. Someone comes up next to me. All they, they shove a phone in my face, and I'm like, I read it, and then it all. I think all it said was just like, "Oh, uh, key oil." <gasps> I was like, I looked up. It was the guy that I saw with the nice legs. I was like, you, do, do, Why don't you ask for a contact? I was so tongue in the moment because shit like that never happens to me. So then I was like, "Thank you" in English, and he's like, "Oh, oh, oh." I guess he got embarrassed and he left. And I, to this day, I regret it. You, you were regret it. I fucking regret life. it. He was cute, cute. Oh my god! Do I have still have time? I want to tell a story too. <laughs> okay. So was, last story. Last story. I was I was in London. I was taking the subway. I remember I was King Station or something. Is that why you be talking about? I'm from Kings. No, no, no. Um, I was sitting down on this side, and um, on this, and the, on that side. I kind of kind of see an, a person was like sort of like doing this like semi waving so creepy and then I look up it was a boy mm-hmm. a very young boy and then how old were you at the time? Mm, that time because I was in London right before the pandemic so it was three years mm-hmm. ago okay yeah. so, ah, yeah, so he, I think it was he was holding a phone or a paper or something but I, and on his phone yeah. an episode of Bunny and Cherry he's like no he was, he was saying <laughs> He was looking at me, uh, um, sort of in a flirtatious <laughs> manner, uh, and then he was holding the phone. He's like, "Are you Japanese or Korean?" And you're like, "Bitch, I'm Canadian. <laughs> I'm from uh, Ontario." I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I was like, "And I was like, Caucasian guy." Uh, he was Caucasian, but he's very young. I think he's like 18 or something. He's very very young. And then and I'm like, "Me?" And then he's like, "Yeah." And then I was like, "I am Korean." <laughs> Did you use an accent? Uh-huh. Like, I am Korean. No, I, girl. I am Korean. Like, because uh-huh. his mom was next to him, mm-hmm. and his mom was like very angry. Uh-huh. His mom looked like, kind of angry, and his the mom fuck? dragged him and like, made him leave. Like, like they because the the subway has stopped and dragged him and like they, uh, they left. So wasn't he? I thought it would be a story of like I'm interested in but you. He was but very no, cute. He it was, turned out to be he, he was like he treated you like an animal in a zoo. He's like no. No, I could. He, but Do you I can speak tell, uh, no, English? No, I can tell it from his eyes. I think it was mm, interest. He, yeah, but but right I, in front of his mother. Yeah, that That's was so weird. Yeah, that was kind of weird, right? I, if anything, I, I probably would have slipped a note. That is my dream to receive a note. I think I think that happens to a lot to girls very often in Korea. Like that, g- girls uh, get asked for numbers. Straight dudes are so creepy the way mm-hmm. they do it. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that concludes our today's episode. <laughs> we can do this more often. I think that's very interesting too. 
do the Q&As. And um, I guess I hope you guys liked our today's episode and um, enjoy our weekend. If this is uploaded on the weekend, ever. Oh no, we upload every Monday. Have a good week. Bye. (laughs) So long. So long. Farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye for now. Oh my.